Morning year one, I hope you all had a good weekend and are looking forward to another week of learning. So as usual, we're going to start with our reading, which remember to pause each screen and read the text and then have a go at the questions. Okay, so we've got our phonics video now. Hi everyone, Rachel Yankee here from the CBB's television show Footy Pups. Now me and the Footy Pups love football and reading, so are you ready for your letters and sound phonics lesson today? Hello children. My name's Josh. I hope you are feeling really good today. I'm ready to start our letters and sounds lesson. Are you? Firstly, let's read some phonemes you know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This diagraph says F. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? Let's check you got them right. Read them aloud with me. Mm. Or. 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 E. 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 I or E. Uh. Uh. Uh or uh. O. O. O or O. O or O. O. U or U. U or U. U or U. Excellent. I'm going to mix the cards up. Now, can you read the graphemes again? Are you ready?
Let's check you got them right. Read them aloud with me. U or U. A uh or a. Uh. E. O. O. A. E. O. U or U. A. Uh. Or, U or U, I or E, or, O, U or U, O or O, O, E. Well done! Super sounds! Let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Here's my first word. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is O. Now sound out and blend. O, toe. What about this word? Can you spot the digraph? That's right. The digraph is O. Now sound out and blend. F, O, fo. A foe is somebody who is not your friend. Can you spot the digraph in this word? That's right. The digraph is er. Uh. Now sound out and blend. Er. Fern. A fern is a type of plant. What about this word? Can you spot the digraph? That's right. The digraph is er. Uh. Now sound out and blend. Servant, uh, Servant. But we say servant. In the olden days, people living in big houses had lots of servants to do jobs for them. Imagine that! Here's my next word. Can you spot the digraphs? Yes, there are two. The digraphs are ch and e. Now sound out and blend. Ch, e, f, chief. The chief was the leader. Here's my final word. Can you sound out and blend? B, A, S, I, K. Basic. Something basic is something that is very simple. Great reading. I'm going to mix the words up. Can you read the words on the cards without any help? Are you ready? 
off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Fern. Basic. Servant. Chief. Toe. Foe. Well done. Great remembering of our known graphemes. Today, we are learning to read a new way of writing the sound you. Copy me. You. 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 Let's sound talk some words with the phoneme you. Copy me. Say the sounds and then see if you can blend them to say the word. M, U, S, I, K. M, U, S, I, K. You have a go. M, U, S, Ick. Music. Music can be singing or made with instruments. Copy me. You, n, i, t. You, n, i, t. You have a go. You, n, i, t. Unit. A unit is one of something. This is a unit that we use for counting. Let's sound talk our final word. Copy me. U n a n. U n a n. You have a go. U, n, a, n. Human. But we say human. A human is another word for a person. We are all humans. We know the sound U is written like this. And it can be written like this. And it can also be written like this. But there is another way to write the sound U, and it looks like this. Let's read the new grapheme for the sound U. Can you say the sound U each time I show you the grapheme U? Excellent. That was brilliant. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme for the sound U. Here's my first word. Sound out and blend as I point.
U N I K O N Unicorn. A unicorn is a magical animal. Hello. Here's my next word. Sound talk and blend as I point. Now let's read the word together. M U S I K. Music. Did you get it right? How about this word? Are you ready? Now let's read the word together. F U T Y O R. Future, but we say future. The future is when something is going to happen. Here's my next word. Sound talk and blend as I point. Right, let's read the word together. U N I T. Unit. Did you get it right? Here's my final word. Sound, talk, and blend. U n a n human, but we say human. Did you get it right? Can you read these words now without any help? Are you ready? Here we go. OK, then. Now let's check. Are you ready to read them with me? Unicorn. Music. Future. Unit. Human. I'm going to mix the words up. I want you to read them aloud without any help from me. Are you ready? Let's check. Here we go. Music. Human. Unit. Future. Unicorn. Wow! I'm very, very impressed with your reading today. Now it's time to learn to read a tricky word. We are going to learn to read the tricky word, please. Here's the word. Well, the tricky bit is at the end. These letters say Z. When I read it, I say P L E Z. Please. Now read the word with me. L -e -z. Please. Excellent. Now read it yourself. What's the word? Sorry, what was that? Ah, yes. 
The word is p l e s. Please. Fantastic. Now let's practice reading two tricky words that you've met before. Wow. Can you remember the two tricky bits in this word? Yes. The first tricky bit is here. It says u.、Uh. And the next tricky bit is here. These letters say z. So now, can you read the word? Let's read it together. B, E, K, U, Z. Because. Let's read another tricky word you know. Hmm. Can you remember the tricky bit? That's right. The tricky bit is here. It says u. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Th r u. Through. Super reading of tricky words. Wow, they were super tricky today. Okay, children. Let's read some sentences with our new grapheme in them. Here's my first sentence. Can you see any words with today's grapheme? You. That's right. This word has the grapheme you, and this word. Has the grapheme that says you. Can you see any digraphs in my sentence? Look really carefully. That's right. This word has e. This word has a. This word has v. This word has the split vowel digraph i, and this word has or. Can you see the tricky word we learnt to read today? Yes, here it is at the start. Please is our tricky word. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember, sound out any words you are not sure of. Are you ready? Fantastic! Now let's read the sentence together. Please play the music so I can jump like a unicorn. Let's read it one more time. Read with me again as I point to the words. Are you ready? Please play the music so I can jump like a unicorn. I think it would be great fun to dance like a unicorn. Here's my second sentence. 
Can you see any words with today's grapheme U? That's right. This word has today's grapheme U. And this word has today's grapheme U. Can you see any digraphs in my sentence? That's right. This word has the digraph U. This word has the digraph A. This word has the digraph V. And this word has the digraph U. Can you see any trigraphs in my sentence? That's right, there's one trigraph. Here it is, your. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember, sound out any words that you're not sure of. Here we go. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. Are you ready? In future, humans will stay on the moon. Let's read it again. Are you ready? In future, humans will stay on the moon moon. Wow, I think it would be amazing to visit the moon. Do you? You did really well there, children. Let's finish by spelling some words. Because if you can read a word, then I know you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with. Now let's spell two words with today's grapheme you. Let's spell human. Segment the sounds with me. Human. U -m -a -n. Let's count how many sounds there are. Human. U -m -a -n. Human. That's five sounds. Watch me write human. The first sound is <sighs> Then we have today's grapheme U. Then we have M. Mm. My next grapheme is A. And my final grapheme is N. Mm. U, M, mm, A, N. Mm. Human. But remember, we say human. Now I'm going to hide the word. I'd like you to have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. And remember those five sounds. Oh, and don't forget today's grapheme, you.
Let's check our spelling. Does your word look like mine? Remember to change it if it doesn't. U -n -a -n. Human, but of course we say human. Now let's spell music. Segment the sounds with me. Music. M -u -s -i -k. Let's count how many sounds there are. Music. M -u -s -i -k. Music. That's five sounds. Watch me write music. Then I've got today's grapheme U. I. And my last sound is k. M U S I. Music. Now I want you to have a go. I'll hide the word. Okay, say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Remember the five sounds and today's grapheme you. Let's check our spelling. Do our words match? Well done! Now let's practice spelling tricky words. We can read the word please so now Let's have a go at spelling it. Segment the sounds with me. Please. P -l -e -z. Let's count how many sounds there are. Please. P -l -e -z. That's four sounds. Watch me write please. E. And remember, the tricky bit comes at the end. Z. Let's count the sounds. One, two, three, four. P -l -e -z. Please. Now I want you to have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Hmm, what's the tricky bit? Yes, the letters S and E on the end say S. Write it all down and remember those four sounds. OK, let's check our spelling. Did you get it right? If you've made a mistake, don't worry. That's a tough word to spell. Just see if you can correct it 
to make it look like mine. P -l -e -z. Please. Now, let's practice spelling a tricky word that you've met before. Segment the sounds with me. Because. B -e -k -a -z. Let's count how many sounds there are. Because. B -e -k -a -z. That's five sounds. Watch me write because. I'll let you know when I get to a tricky bit. B. E. K. Oh, now I've got to a tricky bit. The letters A and U say U. Uh. And there's a tricky bit on the end too. The letters S and E say Z. Let's check we've got the right number of sounds. B, E, K, U, Z. Because one, two, three, four, five. The word is because. Now I want you to have a go. I'll hide the word. Say the word. Say the sounds. What's the tricky bit? There are two tricky bits. The letters A and U say uh, and S-E on the end says S. Write them down. Remember five sounds in because. Let's check our spelling. Does your spelling look the same as mine? Quickly change it if not. B, E, K, O, Z. Because. Well done, children. You've worked so hard again practicing your reading and your spelling. I'll see you soon for another lesson with letters and sounds. Bye. Hi children. I hope you enjoyed your letters and sounds lesson. You have worked really hard and we are so proud of you. Why don't you celebrate by sharing a lovely book together with someone at home? Okay, as usual, we've got our maths, so we've got a video and then some questions to have a go at. Today, our lesson is about making doubles. Here, we have a little fish bowl with two goldfish. But what if I doubled that? If I double it, I have to add the same amount of fish. So there are two fish in the first fish bowl. I'm going to add one, two more fish. So how many fish would I have all together? Four. Excellent job. We can think of this as a part, part, whole model. We could also say the phrase, double something is something. Remember, we started with two fish and we wanted to double it. So we could show two fish and two fish 
and double two is four. Let's try another one. This time we're going to talk about fingers. Actually, you can try this on your own hands. We have two hands, each of them showing three fingers. Hmm, what are we doubling? That's right, we've got three fingers on each. So we're trying to find out what is double three. When we double a number, we have to add each of them together. Three plus three. And remember, we can show that as a part whole model. One of the parts would be three, the other part, three, and the whole would be six. Three plus three equals six. But another way to say it is double three is six. Let's try a few more examples. We're going to double something and we're going to think of it as an addition sentence. But what are we doubling? Dominoes! I love dominoes. Now last time when we were doubling we used a part whole model. This time we're using a number line. So what are we doubling? Can you see? Yes, we're doubling the number two. And when we double two, we have to add two plus two. Let's show that on a number line. We're going to skip count by twos. There's one two and another two. And where did we end up? Four. So we can see that 2 plus 2 equals 4. But we're going to try saying it another way. Double 2 is 4. Today our lesson is about... Let's try another one together. Another domino. Hmm. And this time we're going to use the number line again. So, what are we doubling? Can you see? Did you say four? Then you're correct. And if we're doubling four, we can think of it as four plus four. Once again, let's use the number line. This time, we're skip counting by fours. Our first is four. And we add another four. Where did we end up? On eight. Yes. So we can see that double four is eight. And we also know that four plus four is eight. Are you ready to try one on your own? Why don't you pause here and then come back and we'll go through it together. When you looked at the domino, did you think I know what I'm doubling. I'm going to double five. And if I'm doubling five, I need to add five plus five. Maybe you even drew a number line to help. I know it helps me. So I'm going to show five plus five. And I can see that I ended up on ten. So what does that tell me? Double five is ten. And once again, we also know five plus five is ten. Well done. Okay, are you ready for a challenge? Here's how many straws I have. That's a lot of straws. Do you remember how many are in a bundle? Ten. Yes. So how many straws do I have all together? I have 11. Are you ready to double 11? If I'm doubling 11, it's the same as thinking 11 plus 11. So let's show that with our straws. 
Now, how many straws do I have all together? Well, I've got two bundles of ten straws and two single straws. Hmm, how can I find out the total? Well, actually, I could think about those two bundles of straws is the same as 20 and the two single straws are 2. So 20 plus 2 is equal to 22. I think we've just doubled 11. Double 11 is 22 because we know that 11 plus 11 is 22. Well done on that challenge. And that's the end of this lesson for today. It's time now for you to pause and have a go at your White Rose Maths worksheet. But if you don't have a worksheet, you can find loads of material available on the BBC Bite Size website. Have fun! Okay, so now we have got our maths questions to have a go at. So remember to pause each screen and have a go. Okay, so now we've got our writing task, so pause the screen and have a go. And that's the end of our learning video for today, and I will see you all tomorrow.